Hello, it's JP again. Uh, tonight I want to share, share a story with you guys. Um, an acquaintance of mine asked me, an acquaintance, not acquaintance. <laughs> Still learning how to talk, guys, okay? Uh, he wanted to know, why do I live like this? How can I live like this? Well, obviously he was not an RVer. Uh, he's probably seen a few, but that's, that's all. Uh, so I invited him in, and uh, we kind of hung out and talked for a little bit. Uh, I showed him, uh, you know, how the bed is right here, and, and uh, you know, how comfortable it was. And uh, we got a fridge and uh, a stove and an oven, and all the comforts of home, double sink. I can wash dishes. Uh, I don't have a laundry facility. I'm using the, the bucket and the plunger uh, right now. Uh, that's just as, well, just as good almost. So anyway, uh, like I said, we talked for a little while and he, uh, he kind of uh, agreed, you can see uh, some reason why uh, I was doing this. So uh, after a little while he left and I got to thinking about that, uh, why he would ask such a question. Uh, you know, when it, it's so uh, uh, the norm for, for us, for our beers. Um, I, I, de included, I, de I, I decided that uh, there were two kinds of people that uh, are in our bees. Uh, there's, uh, you know, many, many people in between, but mostly there are uh, two, two, pe two kinds of people. Well, the ones that choose to do this or the ones that were forced into doing it. Uh, a catastrophe happened in their life. They had to sell their whole house and, and uh, you know, they lost everything they had. They bought an RV and uh, now they're, they're living, you know, as, as well as they can. Uh, the other kind are the uh, other ones that choose to, uh, because maybe it's because uh, they knew somebody like me uh, that's happy doing what I'm doing. So uh, I asked myself, why do I live like this? What made me decide to do this? Well, it's a simple story, really. I've always wanted to, and uh, that's a motivation for a lot of people to do that. Uh, I, in my life, I decided to take care of my mom. Uh, she was 90, uh, she was 91 at the time. Uh, we moved in together, we got a place where she could be happy, and I took care of her. Um, I saw this motorhome sitting in the parking lot, had a for sale sign on it, and I thought, oh cool, it's right there, uh, I'll go talk to the guy. Well, we come up with a deal, and uh, uh, I found out that there was a motor fire. Uh, so I, uh, I fixed all that, got it all ready to roll, and uh, did a couple of little trips and came back, and I thought, well, you know, Mom doesn't have too long to live, and uh, I'm going to be looking for a place. So um, I finally she got to where I couldn't take care of her anymore, and I had to put her in a nursing home, and uh, it wasn't six months, and she was gone. And I'm thinking, well, okay, I, I, here's my start. I'll just go and take take care of my life in a motorhome. It was kind of scary at first, uh, the first couple, three months. I spent a lot of time working on it, trying to get it ready to, you know, to be uh, uh, trustworthy, I guess you could say to uh, get in and go somewhere. Now that was right at the time when that, uh, gases really started to uh, rise high. So I was thinking, wow, um, I've got some place to live, but I need somewhere to park it. Uh, I checked out a few RV courts, parks, and I didn't really like that. Well, it turns out that I had a friend in Globe, and uh, I came up here to, uh, to live and I've been in their driveway. So it was rather convenient at the time. And uh, uh, three years went by, have gone by, and I decided that uh, that's it, I'm gonna go out and stay out. Like, you know, go take little small trips for 
uh, two, three days, or, or 10, or, or 15 days, and then come back. Well, like I said before in one of the other videos, now's my chance. I want to do this. I'm free of the chains of taking care of the house and paying utilities and paying taxes and all that stuff. Uh, I've got my retirement check now, so now's the time to do it. And that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of share that with you a little bit. Uh, that was the reason why I did it. And I, the best thing I ever did was was buy this motorhome. And uh, uh, nobody will ever take my home away from me. Uh, that's just the way it is. I've gotten pretty independent, too, over the years. So anyway, uh, like I said, I wanted to share that with you. And uh, thanks for listening. And... Uh, uh, we'll talk to you.